double digits finally. What? Can you can you can you like kick him? Yeah, I can. Never mind. Kick him balls. Kick him I need balls. I need to have to do that. Yeah, he's kick probably balls. listening to us. His mom's kick probably in his balls. room. Damon, you can join back if you can hear us. No, he's escaping. You know what? He's free to roam around. Floof he's a free Floof, Floof can be the bartender. Floof! Oh my gosh, Floof is... I forgot how cute Floof is. Floof is adorable. Floof. No. Yep. No thoughts. Head empty. Only Floof. Yep. Bean. Only Bean. No, no Floof. I want to put the uh, I want to put Henry's final words from uh, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, Pizza Simulator FNAF 6 over just a still image of uh, Bean's head because I keep saying no thoughts head empty it's um it's uh uh I uh for no, most of you. I believe there is peace and perhaps pros and perhaps happiness. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened up to swallow you whole. So don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. I just want to put that entire phrase just on a still image of Bean's stupid face. He's fucking cro <laughs> he's fucking reverse cross-eyed. <laughs> I'm taking a screenshot of this. He's so stupid. We love him, though. We love him. He's so goofy he's looking. He's lovable. He's, he's so Not goofy. So goofy. He's, just a, he's just a little bit silly goofy. Oh, uh, Bean. Bean would never kill me. Bean would absolutely kill me, given, given the first chance. He... Since when? No, Bean, Bean, the first Bean, Bean 1.0, tried, ended up killing himself, because he jumped Ow. off of a cliff. Bean 2.0 wasn't able to kill himself, and thus I abducted him. Slushy I dragged away from the Himalayan mountains to another Himalayan mountain. And, uh... <laughs> Well, Floof was born, well, yeah, <laughs> Floof is just Floof, there's nothing special. You come, we love Floof, we love Floof. You come back one day and it's like, a window pane is missing and so are all your foxes. You don't know where the window pane is, so. <laughs> I'd be more pissed off if like, <laughs> my house was burned down and all of my foxes were still alive. <laughs> Wait, no, my fish! I don't know where it went! Here, here, Slushy, have a fish. Have a fish, Slushy. No, you oh. took a fish. Slushy, eat fish. Have the fish. Oh, Snack time! Oh, you didn't take the fish. You yeah, did they, not take yeah, the they, fish. They, they, they love it when I do this. Oh, it's just oh a creeper behind you guys. <laughs> oh, they- Oh, that's so cute! I'm gonna grab Beam oh, special God. sapling. Oh, should you show, um, Toto over here? Stop showing Oh my god. We should make, like, a little house for them. Maybe. I, like, I a little have... cave. So, Totoro, I'm and gonna then... show you something. Yeah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Here, I'll just, just, a little I'll, I'll, just I'll just drop bean sapling on the ground since he'll grab that eventually. Alright, let's go. Okay. Oh, I just, cl <laughs> I just closed the door for me. Alright. So, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna be building, like, my next, like, base type thing. It's still gonna be here, just slightly Does he farther know where away. it is? No, though he doesn't know where it is, I'll show him if he wants. No, it's he basically- Did you? It's basically- He doesn't wanna know. He doesn't not wanna it's know. It's basically just I a, do. a hole in the ground. A very- oh, It's just a four. I four. Still, he doesn't wanna know. I do. He doesn't. He said he doesn't. I do. No, he said he doesn't. She just wants to be special, even though she isn't. More special than you, that's all. 
I know. Yeah, in the head. Not I, I, was I was gone. I was I was gone for like two. I was gone for like thirty seconds. Why are you fighting already? Girl, you said you said you took pills. What are you because talking about? Because my ADD. Special? You call me special. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't have a. Yeah, I'm not. Like, you know, no, 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 autistic. No, no, no. I have I, ADD. It, it's a doorway, it's a doorway. Oh, I'm sorry. It's alright. That was meant for that. <laughs> Game, let me fucking me craft something. torches. I already Why put are you like this? Down. I want it's to ridiculous. craft torches and it's not letting me. Oh, my bad. Let me craft it for you. Stop! I've expanded the sugar cane farm. Okay, do you finally What the fuck up? is in this hand? Nothing, nothing, nothing should be here. Why can't I? Why? Just... Oh my god, what's hitting you? I don't know what's hitting you. I can't even fucking craft. No, not that. I cannot craft cannot... anything. That's tough, uh... buddy. <laughs> that is tough. Oh, I'll be back. Do this the, is some oh, wait. actual bullshit. These guys are the stone masons. Who, who are the weaponsmiths? The guys with eye patches. What do they need to, you know, be the that guy? A grindstone. Like I've said, three different times. Sorry. Yeah, I could craft that. Maybe you are special, Doji. No, because like I. Anyway, is Waffle gonna ever, like, reappear mysteriously, or is she just gone? Oh, she was online, like, a few, like, an hour or two before you got on. Oh. Pretty sure that she didn't join the SMP, though. She did join, though. She did? Yeah. I know, like, today she didn't. Oh. He's got a knife! Oh my god, he's got a knife. I found Hero Brian in Minecraft. Okay, you ruined it. No, no. I you did. I treat all I of my some... children. I just tr I treat all of my children and simps equally, it's just some more equally than others. <laughs> Animal farm in a nutshell. All animals are the are equal, but some are more equal. This guy has a green thing. This guy has a green thing. You shall die. Any last words? Huh. Guess not. Huh. All animals are all animals are created equal. However, some are more equal than others. Um, uh, guy has bad trades. I haven't even been okay. You know what? I'm just you have. You have been somewhat mean to her, Doji, I will say that. I know, just like... It just because you, you called like me special, too? I... D uh, what?
I you made my brain hurt. Starting to sound like Jackson being overly sensitive over the most minute things, not gonna lie, Doji. I haven't even been but hurt. No, I'm gonna stop responding because me responding is what lets you guys start making fun of me. You mean like right now? Yes, exactly. This is a great rep a great so representation of what I'm saying. Because you guys are insulting me and I'm trying to explain why I or what I was saying. That maybe you are special. Is that your only insult? Yeah, but the joke is pretty boring. See, Damon's got it. Hey, Damon, you're a poopy fart. Well, that wasn't really all that funny, Doji. You see? Poopy fart. No one's laughing, Doji. I know. Poopy fart. I'm gonna make some shoes so I can make more beds. Actually, I'm gonna kill some skeletons for bones. The kids, Box. the kids in the, uh, there's, there used to be, or there still is, there's like an anime club at our school. I heard a rumor that some of the kids are going to start an all cat boys baseball team. Yup. I want to go s <laughs> My, I must go, my people need me. I'll be, I'll be the team leader, the mascot, and when will the I water see you again? boy. When will I see you again? I must go, my people need me. Frank, when will I see you again? Uh... In your dreams. Now, you should have said something better, like, whenever there is an uwu, I will be there. <laughs> Whenever there's oh, cat ears, I will be wearing them. Oh, wait, hand, redo it. I have a better one. When I will I see go, you again, Terrain? From the beginning, from the, from the top, people. I must go. Okay. My people need me. Terrain, when will I see you again? I will answer all oo-woos and oo-woes throughout the land. You will see me soon. Absolutely not. I'm better than that, that's why. Whenever someone says cringe, I'll be there to say it's our <laughs> word. <laughs> that's my superpower. Responding to the most unfunny jokes with, whoa there pal, cringe is our word. Alright, this will be Whenever. as far as the room goes, and then it'll be good. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna make this like a nature room, and uh, this will, will I'll be I'll make like a glass container, like a terrarium, and that'll be where uh, the foxes will live. There's a villager who has constantly been in the in the farming place with the wheat. So I'm gonna no, trap I'm gonna put, him like, in there. Storage in here too, and like micro farms and stuff. I want to make it not like a bunker, but like a very cave-themed 
I want to make this like cave themed almost or like a natural kind of or like a natural like wooded field like a lush cave I'm going to this is my swamp I'll build you a micro castle in uh, Bean's house. Bean's habitat will be a. Uh, I'll make him a sand castle. Bean is my favorite. I say I, I treat like all my children and all my simps equally. Bean is the favorite child. I have no favorites, but Bean is the favorite. You're the second favorite. Am I the third? Yes. Jackson. Yay. Jackson, I... The horses are my favorite child compared to Jackson. This flower that I found on the ground is no, my favorite. No, we're not. No, we're, no, we're not. I shouldn't realize how far back it went. <laughs> okay, I just found in... The, okay, this one... Um, villager, he spends all of his time in the wheat farm, so I'm gonna trap him there and name him something. Name him, uh, Quake. Name him the Quaker Oats guy. Name him John Quaker. Qu I'm gonna name him Quaker Oats. J John Quaker. Quaker Oats. Wait, no, that says Quacker. No, I've never heard of, uh, John... Lennon. I've never heard of John Lennon. Lennon. That is not Asian, but Wait, how do you spell Quaker? Points for creativity. Lennon was fat shaming you? Wait, wait, wait. How wait, do you spell wait, Quaker? Wait, 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 wait. Lennon was his last name. Okay. I was gonna say, boys, communism is still, communism's still up and running. We got round two. How do you spell Quaker? Do you spell Quaker? I have no idea. Which wall should be his? It can't be this one because there's a cave over there. Uh, this wall right here or this wall? No, no, like, I'm gonna make it, like, go back. Like, let's say from here. This will be, like, a glass. This will be all glass with, like, a rim. And then you'll get to look back. And there will be, like... You know, it'll go eight blocks back, and there'll be, like, a little habitat back there. It'll be, like, storage and, like, um, like, farms and, like, husbandry-type stuff for animals. Yeah, I'll make like a little entrance there so that you can go play with them. Yep. So this will be... Butterow, do you want to stay happy? Then you lie to yourself. Ignorance is bliss. Blood, blood is fuel. Hell is full. That is edgy. It is true. Why the hell do you think they're having us donate blood? My bad. I'm so sorry. 
I'm so so sorry. This is probably good. No, no, no. Uh, keep going. I went is back like 11 here blocks. Have a job? It'll be 10 blocks back. Yeah. It's not that much, and then this one right here will be like the back wall. So this block here will be the wall. Sorry. Okay, I got this guy to sell a better iron sword. It, he sell he now sells looting one and knockback one. A better a better iron sword. Still kind of garbage though. Not gonna lie. Better than smite one. Knockback is a good enchantment for uh, PvP. Because any serious, quote quote, serious PvP player hates knockback with a passion because it prevents them from comboing you like a little bitch. Oh, okay, that sword just, just is only knockback one. Yeah, we do. Okay, I made up selling an actually kind of good iron sword. Sharpness 2 and I'm breaking 3. Uh, that's pretty decent. I would keep that. Because remember, that whole base is there. So if we're ever attacked and all of our items are destroyed and we don't have too much to start out with, that's there for us to regroup and resupply. Also, to be fair, he probably will sell a better diamond sword. I mean, that's the goal. That's theirs. So that way, if this base is attacked, that base will be safe. Because that's hidden. That's like a good... No, no, no. Just like, like there's villagers there, but also that base will be there, you know, by itself. Uh, I don't know. It's, it could be in the chest still. I have, I have no idea if we have the stone, to be honest. It might be in Doji's house. And if we don't, then they're... Sure, go ahead. Hmm? They're sharing. I'm gonna be honest, I'm keeping that birch sapling because I found, uh, what's his name? I found Bean holding it when I brought him back and I just gave it back to him. I'm calling it his, I'm calling it his baby because my dog, my Chihuahua Winston, carries a, uh, a squeaky toy around with him all the time. And it, it's supposed to be a monkey. It's not. It looks fucking cross-eyed. <laughs> It looks like an abomination, really. And, um, we call it his baby, because he carries it around anywhere he goes. And, uh, we just call it his baby. What? <laughs> Toji, you little rascal. Where the fuck is the grindstone? Oh, all my... Oh, I don't have a grindstone on my base. Cringe. Anyway, Get the Quaker. Back. Cringe. Okay. Okay, so now. <laughs> I've been caring for like everything here. Good Doji, it's time that you finally put in some work. Wait, I still have some more bread. Yes, create more. Create more. The, 
the more there is, the more work can be done. Okay. Oh yeah, can you make like more lecterns, please? No, because I'm currently working on my base. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest, I think I like the Terraria UI more than I do Minecrafts. I remember seeing a meme. And it was why are um why are forests turning purple and it was the Terraria music oh, over yeah. it. Why are Iceland's deserts turning purple? It's supposed to be like some national geographic like oh the lavender seed is spreading this type this uh because of the correct climates and it was just the corruption theme. Here's why people are putting butter in their coffee. They're fucking idiots. They're in they're mentally insane. <laughs> they're fucking idiots. I can do so much more digging now that my pickaxe hasn't breaking free. Wait, why can't I bell? <laughs> Doji realizing <laughs> that he might be dyslexic. Okay, now there. Why? What happens when there's green spark on the bell? That means a villager recognizes that as its village. Okay. That's good. That's what that means. There's so much sugar cane. I vote that we should make a little, uh, city up here on top of the mountain, or like a little town. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna make some more lecterns. Crap, I don't have the enough leather. Okay, I can... They should make it so that, like, there's a mechanic where you can shear leather from cow. You're just fucking skinning them alive. But it grows back. I saw this one really cool copy pasta, or not copy, creepy pasta, where, like, I think it was on r slash no sleep, where essentially it was describing hell from a resident of hell's perspective. And it sounded a whole lot more like a fucked up Hunger Games type thing than from like, you know, an actual biblical, you're not being punished for your sins type thing, you just simply have to survive eternity. And that may sound pretty easily, just like, you know, kill people, you know, find food, find shelter, and don't die. Except what there's no die? fresh, well, there's, you'd simply respawn. Yep. Except, instead of being like Minecraft and just settle down, travel tens, thousands, thousands and thousands of miles away from everybody, you're stuck in one big city. Everything else around you is, uh, despair. I can link like, you with your the, the video if I, if I find it again. Does the city, like, regrow, or is it just always stuck how it is? It's always stuck how it is. It never changes. Like, if you break down a building, like, if you, you know, make a, a makeshift bone pickaxe, then, you know, you will, and, like, you, you make a bone pickaxe, you take a swing in that building, that building will never recover. That building will always have a crack in it. And, um... <clears throat> so, when you enter hell... You... Like, just gain consciousness in a birthing sack. It's basically like an artificial womb with like a... Almost like a saran wrap 
texture mixed with like some skin and it's filled with like amniotic fluids and those who are too young or too old or too frail or sick or just overall weak to break their way out of the the sack simply drown and die over and over again for eternity that's their personal hell but those who do escape are essentially able to roam freely forever for about five minutes until somebody kills them because in hell there's no food there's no clean water there's no resources other than what the buildings can get and overall what they can harvest from other human beings there are three stages of person there are the enslaved which are surprised the enslaved there are the residents okay there are the residents which are the people who control all of the resources wait it's like what do the, like are they demons or something like what are the residents no they're people you me totoro they're people they are like they are, oh, like I'm people just, not I'm, there no they're people from hell they're sinners they're people who you know are in hell because they've done something to deserve going to hell for whatever reason and what that means is they have if they're a resident that means that they've found some sort of association or affiliation or they're part of a tribe or whatever and they've gotten themselves clothing typically made from tanned human skin and leather uh, and some sort of weapon a bone spear a knife a club made out of somebody's skull a femur axe you know basically whatever you can get you can't be too picky because bones are hard to come by that aren't already broken and a free kill is a free kill wait can then, you like harvest from that body like in their bones it's not exactly a game doji what you can do in real life you can do in in hell in dis and in the city of dis there are billions and i mean billions of people Do they all like fit in there or does it like get bigger? This is massive. Think of it like in the style of like 1960s New York. Except horribly dilapidated, no plants in sight, no no cars, no nothing in sight. And make it stretch for millions of miles. Like, you can spawn anywhere on there, and it's just like, no, there's you have to find your birth way. There's set birthing pods and birthing sacks, like, everywhere. Think of it, just, there's dotted around that city everywhere. There's trillions of them. Each human gets their own birthing sack. Sure. And, uh, the last, the, yeah, I get one. I get my own private one. Every human does. And, uh, the last stage is the, uh, I don't really know what it's called. I'll just call it the Wanderer. The Wanderer is essentially, you've just arrived out of your birthing sack. You either died or you just got into hell. There is nothing to your name absolutely jack shit you've got nothing but the skin on your back the hair on your head and a crippling sense of why the fuck did I do that and uh, aside from that you've also got jack shit and so while you're you know thinking about your actions for the next 10,000 so years 
Wait, like, there's a time limit on, like, how long you're there? No, but there is a way to escape. I'll, uh, tell you about that in a second. Essentially, He's telling you me about wander creep hell. Creepypasta. Yeah. You can wander around hell, do what as you please, kill people indiscriminately. It won't change a thing. There are set areas of hell to avoid. There's a place called Skin Street, which apparently is filled with sadistic serial killers who have set out very appealing traps like fresh human skin clothing, which, uh, because it's always raining in hell and it's ice cold, you know, 30 degrees rain, that's like that state where it's not quite snow, not quite hail, but is essentially slush. You're being pelted with slush from the sky, about the size of bullets, and they sure as shit feel like bullets. And because you have zero clothing, uh, you're gonna take whatever you can get, which more often than not is uh, made from human skin and hair. If you're lucky, bones. If you're unlucky, nothing. And, uh... Pretty much the um, the way that it, the way that uh, you're lured there is there's nobody in sight, not a single person. Normally, if you're wandering around hell, you'll see a couple abandoned buildings. You know, you'll go in there. There might be a person or two. There might be, you know, a couple of the wretched, which are essentially people who have gone feral, like. Imagine a person from New York City today, wretched. Yeah. Imagine a person from, like, you know, Los Angeles, California, or New York City, like, your typical Starbucks girl trying to go back in time and communicating with, like, Neanderthals. That's what it would feel like to try to talk with one of them. They are not human, they are animal. And, uh, in the case that you do find one of them, and they, and you don't kill them on site, which you always should, they will go get more of them. And, uh, those more of them will most likely eat you alive. Yeah, very slow and painfully, they'll most likely tear your eyes out first, uh, probably, you know, tear out your kidneys, and then once you're basically, you know, on the cusp of death, they'll slit your throat and watch you die painfully. So, you know, real gentlemen. Anyways, if you're interested, I, I'm gonna link the original like, source where I got it from in the Discord, if you're interested. Like, how do you escape? Oh, um, so you know what a seance is, right? No. Okay. A seance is a... Essentially, a psychic trying to contact somebody who has passed on by using their body as a vessel. Or using a Ouija board. That will spawn a pillar of fire in hell. Now, the individual who recounted his time in hell, some thousand years or so, said that he managed to escape twice. Once before and was hunted down by the police for murdering his family, which, you know, a six-year-old girl murdering their family, kind of obvious, you know. But his second time, which is how he was writing that post, um, he managed to lay low, killed his roommate, and, uh, yeah. Basically, like, after... How long are the years there? The same as Earth. It's Earth, but shit. Like, how long? 
How many of you have to be there? You're there until you escape. You're there forever. Oh, so like you have to be lucky enough to be close to a fire thing? You have to either get lucky or kill everybody who's unlucky enough to be killed by you. Okay. You, my good sword. Okay, so should this guy be a weapons guy or a, or a book guy? Mm -hmm. I do a book guy. No, both, both, both parts are here. I'm gonna share both parts. It's actually pretty decent. And then Doji, you know that theory I got about what heaven is? Like, what if it, what if... When you go to heaven, it's what you believed in. You know, if you believe in reincarn reincarnation, you go to heaven. If you go to, uh... You like... If you believe in nothing, then you become nothing. You simply cease to exist. Mm hmm? Um... The, here's the video I got that from. It's another one of the copypasta, creepypasta type things. It's from the same guy. He's pretty goddamn scary, honestly. I found him a few uh, few years ago. When I was first listening to the like audio book podcast type things he was doing, it genuinely scared the shit out of me. Like I genuinely had nightmares for weeks for about some of that shit because it's so real too. Like all of the cryptid horror, creepy pasta, SCP Foundation type shit. That is a real horror. That is much more real than like demons, ghosts, monsters, or no, sorry, like you know the boogeyman, like a serial murderer. Maybe I don't know, but like the SCP Foundation, it could be real. It's probably not, but it could be. But like this an imaginary monster, like Bigfoot. A skinwalker, the Wendigo, mm -hmm. a demon. Those could all be v much more real than a giant 2,000 pound lizard waiting to rip you and the continent that you're living on in half. Oh my god, a guy who sells loyalty 3 for 29 emeralds. Cool. Is that good? Some. No, we don't want lo Loyalty 3, Doji. We want Riptide. Okay. Some of the images described... Like, some of the images described in, like, some of the books, or some of the stories that he's read, are so vivid that one, uh, that one recount was what looked like an elongated human, human skull, only with its skin stretched so tightly over it over itself that you could swear that you could make out the features on the bone itself through its hollow skin. And I don't want to talk about this anymore. I was like, not talk about this. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh god, the eyes. They were somehow full of life expression and somehow so dead that simply looking into them might steal your soul away from your body forever. Okay, um, they were a pitch I got a guy who sells Protection three. Cool. They were oh, I didn't light. mean to hit you. I didn't mean to hit you. So sorry. They looked as full as the moon and as dim as a star fading away into the night sky. This guy sells silk touch. Every so often, when I close my eyes to go to bed, I see a flash of the face. That that was described as. Can I stop? Why is it scaring you? Yeah. Okay. 
This guy sells Silk Touch 1 for 14 emeralds. Silk Touch might be useful. Okay, yeah, he's here at the... He's at the villager place. Cool. Jesus, fuck. I'm just gonna stand right here next to, uh, Floof. I'm gonna go try to find some of the, uh, really old, uh, creepypastas that I used to watch. Um, Totoro, do you want me to give you the coordinates up here? R slash... Like, the villager place that I can get silk touch. No sleep. Okay, the coordinates are... Oh, Silk Touch, it's 14 number in a book. Wait, you don't have emeralds? Okay. I mean, let me check. 24 paper from, for an emerald. I'm just gonna dump a bunch of the ones that I used to watch into the Discord. So that way Doji can piss his pants. And Doji, and Doji, I do recommend that you watch them all since they're all, like, really good to listen to. Like, as scary as they are, they are genuinely good storytelling. What do you sell? Okay. Bookshelf. 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 That's five. That's six. Six bookshelves in a row. Seven. Okay. Impaling two. Nine. Nine bookshelves. Okay, yep. Yeah. Protection 4. But it's 58 emeralds. Let me ask Terrain. Hmm? Nice. Yes. Well, how much is it? Um, 58 emeralds. Ah, uh, hell yeah. Wait, what do you mean? We can, we can cure him. I'm just not gonna do it for, like, protection 3, because then you have to buy 2. But if we could get protection 4 for, like, 20 emeralds, that's a keeper. Okay. That emergency alert one was pretty good. If you guys want to listen to a podcast that talks about If you guys want to listen to a podcast that talks about things that are true Like what they say is actually true Check out the Joe Rogan podcast Doji does not speak for me
number 15. Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. Did you know that there was like actually a thing where there was a picture of someone putting their feet in a, or in a Burger King salad? Yep. That's a Fletcher. They exist, yeah. I mean, we already have one. I had another one that I wanted to share, but I forgot what it was. I need to, like, jog my memory. Drinking too, you know what? Good enough, you can go to sleep now. Here we go. This is a good one right here. I took a job as a fire lookout in the middle of the woods. Oh, and. Oh, wait, are you talking about the guy? Is it like. There's a set of rules I had to follow? Yeah. I took a job oh. as a fire lookout in the middle of the woods. I found a strange set of rules to follow. Yeah, I watched his, um, I watched two, but I couldn't finish them. It was the, I bought, I bought a car and there was a set of rules I had to follow. Oh, and, yeah, that one was good. Oh, yeah, and the airplane one. Like, uh, I took a strange flight out of hell. Uh, it, yeah. I had a list of rules to follow. There's like one other good one that I had. It might have been by Dark Somnium. R slash R slash. Oh, oh, I, I, I just, uh, thought of it. Yeah, and it sounds like there are good people with good trades here. Um, there's some, like, work, job blocks, like, random places. Just to let you know. Hello? Hmm? There's some random like job block blocks, like random places. Okay. Want to let just wanted to let you know. I like gonna come back here. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna come back once I'm. Once I found the video.
Go away, American Furniture Gallery. You should not bring Totoro over here. Oh, there's now iron golems here. They have now some iron golems. How many zombies? Hello? Yup. Idiot. Idiot. Uh, what do you have? Sure. Sure. Did I let um Damon know where our villager place is? No, probably not. I mean you can come here but it'll cost a fee. Okay, Bane of Oh, cool. a good trade. And I'm, I'm gonna mute myself while I listen to the rest of the story. Yeah. Okay, this guy has. This guy sells an iron sword with a fire. This guy sells an iron sword with fire aspect one, point three, and looting two. Back. I mean, actually, it's daytime. All the villagers go watering. It is. Crap. Hmm. Mine. Good. Death message. Hey, do you want sugar cane? Do you want sugar cane? Like, do you want to buy it? Sure, just let me. Yeah, rather a ball of sugar cane. Hey, okay, what's the coordinates? Four thousand negative. There you go. So, would you like to buy some sugar cane? Crap. Just like if we can hear that the guy who sells the protection for, then I think that we can actually get some good. Wow. 
I'm really hoping for is like for us to get a guy that sells us diamond armor so that that can really skip us like give us a skip on a mob work what's the name of your guys' description? What's the name of your guys' faction? Just give a name. You would. Uh, no, you don't put the name. I only need that until object. And then you guys. The official name. So what are you gonna so what are you gonna call it? <coughs> like up above the roots. Okay, you two work. Okay, you darkness two. Okay, now you. I'm back. I'm break. I'm breaking one. Yeah, I'm going to re reroll your trades. I'm back. I think the video I just posted was the one that I was thinking about. No. A villager died. He, he, he was small and he was a child, and he was in a one-block thing, and then he grew up and then he died. Excuse me. That's true. Okay, sharpness three. Okay, sharpness. Better than that. Now, actually, I don't need a horse since it's raining. <gasps> Ain't that father? My two. Nope. You have to pick up the tadpoles. <gasps> okay, this guy has lowered down his trade. Okay. This guy sells a bell for 32 emeralds. We already have a bell. In fact, we have lots of bells. But should I keep his trades like that since they're, low since they're like lowered? Sure. I'm almost dead, I should probably be careful. Need a guy, no. You have to either find the tree and break the little propagules once they're fully grown, or you have to find a, a wandering trader and buy them from it. Uh, you, you have to get the little mangrove propagules. They're like the saplings. They're hanging underneath the tree. Um, they can only drop once they're fully mature. And uh, if you break them. Okay, so right now we're going to do the thing with the action villager. I'm not sleeping right now since I'm in the overworld and I don't have a bed. I would just stay safe until we can uh, sleep. Okay, also when, come, also when you come, also when you come back, um, can you please bring back food? Uh, I don't have too much food on me. Okay. Uh. 
But yeah, do you have stuff so that we can cure that villager? I mean, I can make stuff. Alright, can we all sleep? Damon, you can log out, Totoro. Totoro? Pretty sure that. Oh, she left the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Totoro is still here. Is she in the party? Oh. Hey, she's muted. Totoro, if you're speaking, your mic is muted. Ow. We were just seeing if you were there. Like good friends. What makes the guys that sell the armor? A blast furnace, this thing. Okay, Great. how do we make one? Uh, iron, smooth stone, and a furnace. Smooth stone. And by the way, I wouldn't crowd them at, around, like, one area, because some villagers won't be able to get to their jobs. Okay. So, like, spread them out, like, diversify them. Okay, but, like... By the way, were you trading with the villagers to lock in their trades? No. Oh. You have to do that. You have to trade with oh. the villagers so that way their trade stays the same forever. Oh, okay. Sorry. So all of the good villagers that you just have? Yeah, they're all gone. There's a luck of the sea guy. There's an impaling two guy. But the guy with um mending, he's still here. Yeah, because you traded with him. The silk touch I guy did? is still here. Yeah, because mangrove swamps have to generate in swamps. Doji, I'm pretty Hello? sure that like yeah. Yep, my I just disconnected. What happened? I don't know, I just disconnected. Same. Did the server crash? <laughs> How could you? Did anybody else disconnect or was that just me? Okay. I did. <laughs> Damon, you tried to pick up a fish and crashed my goddamn server. It was just like la it was just like it would just it was just like yesterday where I tried to pick up a ball of clay on the ground and I crashed to desktop. Oh yeah, we need to cure that protection for villager. Where is he? Maybe be running around. It's 58 emerald. What the fuck is an orange... What the fuck is an orange-blue spotty? Dude, if your dumbass would just cross the water, I'm actually gonna fucking kill this villager right here. If your dumbass would just cross the water, you wouldn't be pissed off about not having a job. Well, put it this way. Do you want to walk really fast in water, or do you want to walk on top of water? Okay, then go for Depth Strider.
Where's this guy? Nice. Yeah, that's the Maxim champ. Where's the protection for guy? Uh, I already have Death Strider 3. That was like the first enchantment I got. The prop 4 guy's probably gone, Doji. He probably re rolled his trade because you never bothered to trade with him. Not that they always be the same. No, you have to trade with him to do it. So you have to trade paper with him, which is why the sugarcane farm is here. Sorry. Doji, why else do you think I would make a sugarcane farm? Okay, what is that? Oh yeah, also... Sharp 3. Okay, also terrain. The, you know the... The book thing? Yeah. It went up to 9. Huh? It went up to 9. Cool. Oh, that? Uh, I'll take that if you don't want it. It, um... It makes it so oh, that you can break um, blocks man. faster underwater. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. But oh, only for water fin. caving. This guy tells it. True. Mm -hmm. However, it is a pain in the ass to get. Oh, I have it right here. Cool. How much is right it, now. Doji? Well... To be honest, 12 emeralds isn't really worth it for Aqua Affinity. Yep, time to reroll. Do you think I could fight this Iron Golem 1v1? Yeah. Yeah, I have him. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I surrender. I want to play no more. What? Uh, never mind, big boy. I don't want to fight no more. Uh, probably boots. Good hand. Good hand. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. We want mending so it doesn't break. Protection so you don't die. And, uh... Unbreaking so it doesn't break as fast. An unbreaking villager, that's what we need, Doji. Depth strangers. Power two. Is it a cave though, Damon? Is it? Oh, you can't remove. You go. Oh. Detroit become this, human. This guy sells Aqua Affinity from eleven emeralds. That's still not worth it. Oh. Yeah, you can. That's how you got it in the first place. All right, so um, you cannot remove individual enchantments. You can remove all enchantments or no enchantments. You cannot remove specific enchantments. Which sucks. Is Totoro here? Uh, it's like 1,000... 
or, yeah, negative 1,100, negative 2,100, I think. Yeah. Forty three emeralds for quick charge three. Not worth it. Quick charge is overrated. It's good, but it's overrated. Fourteen emeralds for mending one. We have someone who sells it for like what? Well, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, yeah, it's just like it's the exact same. Two mending villagers in case we accidentally buy out their whole stock. Oh no, I already re-rolled it. Yeah, I figured. Knock back two for thirteen. No, not really. I just duplicated it. Cool, put it down, see if it's a ghost block. Yep, it's, ah, a, it's ghost a ghost block. block. I'm gonna take all the grindstones that you've been just accumulating, and I'm gonna put them in one area. It's pissing me off that, like, all of these job blocks are scattered around everywhere. I told you about this. And I told you that it pisses me off. Why is the Quaker Oats guy feel happy? What, the ice pond? Yeah, okay, food. It looks cool. Doji, why the fuck did you dig up all the grass that I put here? I tried to make it I tried to make it look nice. Damon's not alright. He's all left. Mm. Should I name my diamond ho Toto Ho? Yes. Okay. Now don't do any more, she wants to. I was going to do it in the first place, Doji, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. <coughs> That's a scam. Do you have any food? I have no food, Doji. To hell. You should like actually you should come to us because we're the ones with the villagers and helping them out. And tell you the coordinates. I said you that. Okay, then I guess they're not gonna be villagers. Yeah, sure. I'll tell her eventually, yeah. Yeah, but it's not going to be right now. Actually, Totoro, I'm going to tell you right now. <sighs> okay, the, so, like, the better Totoro isn't... Have you heard of digging down? No, Damon. Just dig down and like put your bed down there. 
You can't be kicked out of your bed if you, nothing can touch you. Yeah, we need a lot of coal. Wait, this armor, do you think they can sell diamond armor? You cannot sell diamond armor. You can buy it if that's what you're asking. Oh yeah, buy, 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 buy. Will he, oh no, will he sell diamond armor? Yeah, Doji, all armorers will buy diamond armor, or will sell diamond armor. Okay, I just need to get a love call. Doji, you know what? Just come over here, right? You see the librarian who keeps changing his job? Just keep inspecting him, because I'm not trying to turn around back and forth, back and forth. Come okay, over here or I'll kill one? you. Where are you coming? Okay, which one? This one. It is... Last Protection 2. Um, it is Aqua Infinity 1 for 5 emeralds. Crosswalker 2. Aqua Infinity. Damon, can you grab me like a couple jungle logs? Ending 1. Ooh, thanks. Buck of the C2. Blast Protection 4. Okay. Book. Bookshelf. Okay. Bookshelf. Um. Fire Aspect 1. Bookshelf. Infinity one. What? Infinity one. Depstrider three. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Stop it with the bookshelves. Book of the C3. This is turning into last time, Doji. I know. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. We're looking for Prot 4 or Unbreaking 3. Quick Charge 2. Might 3. Okay. Silk Touch. Bookshelf. Oh, I have to go in like 20 ish minutes. Bookshelf. Any time now, game. Bookshelf. Piercing 4. Did you even put a lectern in there for this guy? Oh no. Aqua Infinity. Fucking idiot. You have to put a lectern in here so this guy can do his job. Bookshelf. Wait, let me go. Yeah. Fire spec 2. Infinity one. Shelf. Thorns two. I don't want it though. Fortune two. 
Do we want fortune? Fortune 2? And it's 8 emeralds. Okay, yeah, we're keeping that. Alright, I've just locked him in. I'm gonna go break every lectern. And I'm gonna move them all to one spot. All the important villagers have already been locked in, like the mending, fire aspect, and silk touch guys. And if they're not locked in, then they're stupid. Okay, I'm gonna go and get some coal. I don't know why you're just not buying shit from them, Doji. It's way easier. I know, I'm gonna go and get some coal. I can use it to buy... Get the emeralds, and also level them up. I mean, you could always just, like, chop down trees, turn them into sticks, sell them to the Fletcher. No, it's like, I it can level them up, and I also get XP. Yes, but chopping down the trees to get emeralds, so that way you can buy shit from them, is also very easy. Just saying. This We're armor gonna have sucks. Too. I'm gonna re-roll him until we get something like uh, boots. I need something cheap to buy from you, not leggings. Prefer something like not leggings. I'd prefer something like. Not a chest plate. Is this just comedy gold, Minecraft? Is this just comedy gold to you? What? Who the fuck are you? There you are. I would prefer something... Uh... I what? guess boots will work, but I wasn't exactly going for them. Ah, uh, boots? Is that like what the diamond thing is? No. I mean, like, I can re-roll his starting item, and I was hoping it'd be something like a chain helmet or chain boots. Something that's really cheap that I could just buy from him with uh, two emeralds. So that way I can um, level him up and lock him in. But, uh, seeing as though the game hates me, A helmet. Yeah. You're not. I mean, if you don't want it, I'll take it. I'm trying to make a good. Okay, I'll take it then. Just like leave it somewhere for me. I'll go snatch it eventually. I'm trying to make the perfect helmet along with the perfect boots. Um, what does that stop me from getting on my... Uh, Frostwalker. What is better? Uh... Depth Strider? I'll take depth strider then. It's either you walk really, you walk or swim really quickly underwater, or you have the option. Yeah, or you have the option of freezing over, like flowing water blocks that aren't in like a desert biome. Yeah, I'll take depth strider. Or, get this, Doji, get this. You won't take damage from standing on magma blocks. <clears throat> yup, I know, super useful. Tough choice. Hey, depth 
Strider. Exactly. Doji, thanks for making the right choice. I'm kind of bored and kind of tired. I'm going to go to bed. Alright, just like for... Okay. I'll okay. be on the server for like a few more minutes. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.